All right, traders, George here. And real quick, uh, before I get too deep into this video, for any active positions that you still have in the S&P relative to the long setup that I've been sharing with you, for you balance beam traders, switch to a five-minute chart. Use your fib dots to exit uh, the entire position when that rolls over. We'll take a closer look at that, but you can start working on that right now. Here's a brief run-through of the trade scenarios that I've spelled out over the last uh, two weeks or so. And, uh, well, I'll just run you through them. This is basically the, the battlefield here with transitions above 66, really 65, 75 here, as the trigger to be long through uh, this area here and looking for breaks back below 79 quarter as cause to exit. And it's really gone quite smoothly. There's a lot of trading commitment up here, which makes it work. So a lot of people emailing about why are you looking for long signals when the S&P is at these highs? Well, the reason is because there's so much trading commitment up here. There's heavy commitment at the top here, which suggests further upside. So I've been talking about the bullish state of the market and to be expecting new highs for quite some time. Uh, one of the uh, problems that I see when I deal with new traders coming into the program is a lot of traders have just been shorting everything either based on emotion or their idea of fundamentals rather than a, a setup or signal or any true historical evidence to what they're doing uh, visually on a chart. So uh, the bottom line is there's a lot of commitment here. It creates some great trade scenarios. And this, um, this threshold here to be long as price moves above has been uh, absolutely killer here. If you go back to uh, the end of this move here, as we transition back above, picked up a minimum of 12 there. This short here rolled back to long. So from a $187 loser, it transitioned to a $600 winner. This short here had moved in favor to the point where I said, watch for breaks above uh, 1860 there to exit. So that little move down, still profitable, then back to the long side, another 600, and then almost triggered short here, but mentioned this in, uh, on Friday, but uh, just snapped right back through. Got to love the pass-through effect there. And that's a minimum $1,000 here as we get past 86s. So that's why you're on to your five-minute fibs for this exit here. Now, for the strongest uh, performance here from the S&P, what we'd look for is a pullback for about 10 points to around 80, 79, 78s in there, and watch for that to hold as support. If that happens, we're going to be looking for further upside into the, uh, even uh, outside of that happening, still looking for further upside. But the targets that I have north are 1904, 1923, 1930, and then I've got, uh, where did you go? 1956 to 1958. Can't really see that. But that's the uh, sort of the top end of what I would expect based on all my forecasting there. So there you have your upside. But just going through this scenario here with one contract, you're at over $2,700 here in just a handful of days. Now, do keep in mind that you want to go to a five minute. So all you got to do is drop it down here and the fibs will go dynamically to capture price and you can see they're still supporting price right now they're at 8607 as the calculation goes so that would be the minimum exit right there it could be a little bit higher if we get another burst moving up so just make sure your stops are trailed below that by one tick obviously it's a quarter point market but uh, that's what the fib calculation is so there's your S&P update on the balance beam we'll see you back in the live room